Hi, it's Mel. How is everyone? Good, I hope. So, in the last video, I had wanted to show you all my birthday gifts that I had received. Um, of course, it's been a while now. <laughs> my birthday was at the end of August. And I do apologize. I'm trying to get a video out every week. But um, I have been doing a lot of painting, kitchen cabinet painting on a rental property. And it's really overwhelmed me and took all my time. But I'm going to go ahead. I'm going to move back out of the camera. And I am going to start with, I'll turn it where you can see. I have a big box here. So we're just going to start with the first ones. Here are the first ones. These are cuties. Uh, I don't have them. They don't have tags, but they were 50 cents each, and I went ahead and got them, so we're going to set those right there for now. I hope you all can see. I'll try to push that down where you can see at the Lincoln Logs. We'll just try to set those up, okay? All right. Uh, next, what I got here. This is a Martha Nelson Thomas doll. Okay, as you can see here, she was marked down to $5. I have never saw one like this. It's completely crocheted, and she has the really, really small head. And on the back, it says um, 1984 M. N. Thomas. Okay, so she is like, I guess, a little preemie or something. But So we're going to go ahead and let me set her right here. Okay, next I got a pink-haired Raggedy Andy. Of course, he's homemade. And I got the book with him, Raggedy Ann and Andy Storybook. So let's just set those right here. Let's go ahead and get another one out. Okay. I got this bed here, and it came along with three of these little figurines. One, two, three. Three little figurines. So I'll set those right there. This is the Cabbage Patch Kids Bed, okay, I had received that for my birthday, and of course my most favorite thing in here, as you can tell, is my little AA baby with, with double ponies, she is a head mold too, beautiful little CPK dress on, okay, she got her socks and shoes, and let's see if we can... Look right here. She is from the OK Factory. And just a beautiful doll. So I'm going to put her right here for now. I hope that you all can see these. It, it, it's really hard for me to get in here and get these. Okay, I did get this little bear right here. I just thought it was adorable. So we'll set the bear right there. Okay, next. Okay, we'll begin with this one. I couldn't resist him. Let's, let's, excuse me, let's move this on down a little bit where you all can see better. Okay, so this is a little boy and his name is Waylon Cass, and you talk about adorable, he is adorable. Now, we're going to go ahead and read the legend, the legend of the Cabbage Patch Kids. Many years ago, a young boy named Xavier Roberts happened upon an enchanted cabbage patch where he found very special little people. 
who call themselves Cabbage Patch Kids to help fulfill the Cabbage Patch dreams of having families with whom to share the love Xavier set about building a special place known as Babyland General where the kids remain until each is chosen for adoption. Will you adopt a Cabbage Patch Kid and fill a heart with love? And then on both sides, it says this. Thank you for adopting me. If you take care of me, I'll always love you. And I'm very easy to take care of. I'm very soft and cuddly. Please hug me at least once a day. If I get a little dirty, please clean me gently with a damp cloth. My clothes, except for my diaper, can be hand-washed. My name, birth certificate, and adoption papers are enclosed, plus a few words about my special personality traits. Cabbage Patch Kids are based on the original soft sculpture creation by Georgia artist Xavier Roberts. You'll find his signature on every real Cabbage Patch Kid. So, it's never been opened, and I have learned over time we know... We open at the bottom. I didn't know that with my first one <laughs> that I unboxed so long ago. So let's go ahead and pull him out here. And we will discard the box for now. Okay. And look here. He's only with one wire tie. He's going to be easy to get out. Okay. See how easy? He almost has a reddish color of a hair. There's his birth certificate. We'll look at that a little later, but let me show you a little about him. See? Okay. And I'm sure he is head mode 2. Okay. He has his tag. He has on his blue and white sneakers and he has on a number 31 outfit now this is really tight elastic you all oh he even has his original diaper of course now if I can get in here you all he is from the OK factory made in China okay so let's pull his little pants back up <clears throat> Get him out of the way. See how they lose their shoes, you all? They're always losing their shoes, aren't they? <laughs> so good to see everybody today. I hope everybody's been doing wonderful. So let's go ahead and let's set, I guess, him right there. I hope you can see him okay. Now, we have two more in here to unbox. I don't run out of time. We have an original, two of these, 1986 Olympic Kids Special Edition from 1996. So that would now be 25 years ago. Okay, so let's go ahead and I think, let's look at both the back of the boxes. I think the boxes are exactly the same. Official mascot of 1996, um, Olympic team. Okay. Now these, I'm assuming you open them at the top. Um, this is my tail. Let's try the bottom here. I'm going to do my best, you all, to get them out. Let's do it at the bottom. But, no, I only had one other of the Olympic kids, and I just think they're wonderful. So, let's turn this one around. You can see it. Do you see how it opens here? All right. This one says her name is Allison Bridget. Was born in the Cabbage Patch February 15th. So it is at the bottom. So let's open her first. Wow. She needed out of there bad. She does not have any shoes, obviously. 
I guess she's doing gymnastics and she wouldn't need her shoes. Now, this right here, uh-oh. Okay, yeah, here we go. You have to kind of take the tape off and here's the birth certificate. Peel and place sticker for name here. Okay, and see all these back here, you all? I don't know if I'm going to be able to get her out in one swoop or not because of how they changed them. No, I can't get her out yet. I'll show another video where we can look at her better. Oh, she's so pretty. So let's set her right here with her certificate. And we will deal with this just a little bit later, okay? Now, let's go ahead. This is the next one. If I can get it, we have to do it at the bottom. And there's these little tiny pieces, see right there, of round tape. Okay, so let's just pull that up. I... I swear, I have missed being on here and recording with you all and talking and all that. But, I, like I said, I have been so super busy. Very busy. Okay. Let's see if we can get her out. <clears throat> okay. Wow. Hard to do. Also, same thing, birth certificate, all that. Her name is Margaret May. She has got, look at there, oh my goodness. And she has on her little shoes, socks, her little tennis dress. It says Tennis Olympics. And hers says Gymnastic Olympics. All right. So we'll lay that one there. And I'll, I, I'm sorry since I'm running out of time, you all. Okay, what I'll have to do is just show them, you know, later to you. But let me go ahead and show you the haul here of my birthday stuff. Okay. Very, very pretty doll. Okay. Here's the other one. Here is the two little sweethearts. Here is some figurines. This is that tiny Martha Nelson Thomas doll. Here is the new boy Cabbage Patch. Here is a little bear. Here is my sweet AA along with her bed. And of course we have the pink raggedy Andy and the book. Okay, well, I really hope you all enjoyed <laughs> spending time with me and letting me share my birthday haul, uh, a year older, but that's life, and I'm thankful that I am still around. <laughs> anyway, thank you so much for taking the time out of your day to watch my video Subscribe if you would like to see me again, and like I said, weekly I will be posting. Um, I have a Barbie haul I'll be showing you all next. So anyway, thanks again, and have a beautiful day.